Hi, and welcome to this installation video to help you install the RaceAway Sim Racing plugin and all the cockpits, leaderboards, and overlays. First, some information about the monthly membership subscription. Since version 3, we introduced a monthly subscription. The plugin still has a free option, but the focus of the free version is mainly on the player's own data and not on any surrounding information. The three subscription levels, basic, medium and full, are focused on players that want to have more information about everything around them. On the website racerwaysimracing.com, you can find some extra information about the benefits of each subscription. In a separate video, I explain the differences between all of them, including the extra features and exclusive content. Now we can start with the installation. Step 1. The first step you need to do is to download the latest version of SimHub. You can download the most recent version on simhub-.com. When you're on the website, click on the download now button and at the next page, click on the download button for the latest version. If you already have SimHub installed, be sure that you update SimHub to the latest version. This can also be done by this download on the website. When the download is completed, you get a zip file like I have on my desktop. Right click on it to extract or just double click on it to open it. Run the executable, you get a message from Windows Protect, your PC, click on Run Anyway. In the first screen you click Next, second screen you can choose your location to install it, click Next. Next screen you can select the options you like, click Next, and after that click Install. And now you just have to wait until the installation is completed. When it's completed, click on finish, so that it launched SimHub for the first time. SimHub is starting now. The first screen, select your settings you'd like to have, click on OK. The second screen, you can select the games you want. And after you click on OK, the installation of SimHub is completed, and we can go to the next step. Step 2. Downloading the RaceAway Sim Racing plugin. You can download it on RaceAwaySimRacing.com. At the top of the website, you have a button called Download. Click on it and the download will start. Save it somewhere where you can find it. The next step is to extract the file you just downloaded to the SimHub root directory. Normally, it's inside the program files 86 slash SimHub folder. If it asks to override files, click yes. The next step is optional. Not everyone has this issue. So if you can't find this option or you can't see this message, you can go to the next step. Open Windows Explorer and open the SimHub root folder. Search for the RacerA plugin.dll file. Right click on it, click on more option, then properties. Check if there is a message like file is blocked. If so, unblock it and click OK. If not, go further to the next step. The next step is to enable the RacerA Sim Racing plugin in SimHub and add it to the left menu. When SimHub is started, you get a pop up message about the RacerA Sim Racing plugin. Click on the button to enable it, and after that, click the button to add it to the left menu. As you can see, the RacerA Sim Racing plugin is now added to the left menu. You can click on it and here you find all the options for the RaceAway Sim Racing plugin. In the next step, it's time to log in with your membership email account. When you don't have an email account yet, it will be created at the first login. Just follow the next steps. On the RaceAway Sim Racing plugin homepage, scroll down and click on the login button. A new window will open. Select one of the two options and follow the login process. Now comes the fun part, installing the packages that match your membership. The free limited version first. This is the menu you get with the free edition. When you scroll down you see free version. At the plugin status you see 
if the plugin is updated or not. At the top, you see all the membership options and all the features that they have. To install the package designed for the free edition, just click on the installation tab on the left menu. Here you can find the package that is available for you. All the items that are included in this package are written in the information. Now we start with the basic or medium membership. As you can see, the color of the menu is different. At the top you can see the membership options that are available. This screen shows the basic version and this screen shows the medium version. The installation process of both versions is the same. Just click on the installation button in the left menu and you see a list of packages that you can install. The packages for the basic and medium membership are the same. And now we start with the full membership. As you can see, this is the home menu of the full membership. You can see it on the left that all the options are available. The full membership has four packages to install, instead of the three packages that the basic and medium have. This is because the full membership members have an exclusive package with the remote control and some other nice overlays and dashboards. In this part I let you see how easy it is to install all the packages. In this example I use the full membership because that one has the most packages to install. Most of the installations are real time, only the overlay package takes around one minute to install all of them. Now that all installations are complete, I go to the Dash Studio and there you find all the dashboards, so called cockpits and leaderboards, as well as all the overlays. And now it's time for step 8. Select the game and configure the game. First thing you need to do is go back to the home menu of SimHub, select your game and select game config. Select the right EDP port and click OK. The next step is the in-game configuration. I use F125 as an example. Go to the settings page then to telemetry settings, UDP telemetry must be on, UDP broadcast on off, UDP IP address, fill in your uh, IP address of your PC, UDP port is the same port as you configured a step ago, UDP send rate 60Hz, UDP format 2025, your telemetry on public and show online IDs on. And that's it. That's the in-game configuration. The last step is an optional one, and that is to buy a SimHub license. Without this product, my plugin couldn't exist, so please support the creator of this fantastic product. You get some extra performance like 60 frames per second, but it's more to support the creator of this product. And that's it. That was the installation guide. So enjoy racing! And please join our channels.